You know, why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardon me when I wouldn't even forgive myself for what I have done in the past? Come on, what are you saying? Haven't you read the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّمَا التَّوْبَةُ عَلَى اللَّهِ لِلَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ السُّوءَ بِجَهَالَةٍ ثُمَّ يَتُوبُونَ مِنْ قَرِيبٍ فَأُولَئِكَ يَتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the repentance of those who do wrong in ignorance. And then they repent soon after. It is these people whom Allah will forgive. And Allah is ever knowing and wise. Well look, there you have it. According to the verse that you just quoted, it's only the repentance of those who do wrong in ignorance that's accepted. I wasn't ignorant of what I was doing. I knew very well that my actions were prohibited. Wait, please, you've misunderstood what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means by in ignorance in this ayah. Our predecessors have said that every person who disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether out of mistake or purposely, then this person is ignorant till he leaves the sin. In fact, did you know that the companions would say that every sin which a person perpetrates is in ignorance? Subhanallah, I never knew that. Allah is so merciful, but look, hold on. There is another obstacle. The verse says that Allah will pardon those who repent soon after. See, I told you that I was not part of Allah's mercy because I've been messing about for years and years. So even if I do decide to change, this obviously isn't soon after. Guess what? You've misunderstood the expression soon after as well. Our predecessors, they said explaining this verse, every repentance that happens before death is soon after. Al Hasan al Basri would say that so long as repentance is before the pangs of death, then this is soon after. Subhanallah. I really don't have an excuse, do I? These obstacles, my brother, are imaginary, invented by shaitan so that you never weep to him in regret. In reality, Allah has removed all of the obstacles. So, so you're saying that if I make a move towards Allah, Allah will allow me in? The answer to that question is in the last part of the verse. Go on, read it. فَأُولَٰئِكَ يَتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا It is those whom Allah will forgive and Allah is ever knowing and wise.